Imagine a nuclear incident anywhere in the world. Imagine, rather than leading to global disorder, the decision support system for nuclear emergencies affecting food and agriculture, better known as DSS for NAFA, springs to life. It sets up sampling plan, it navigates sampling in the field, collects data from field and laboratory, processes data, and visualizes decision support options. And this is how it does it. Immediately, it downloads and analyzes data on known radiation contamination rates, and within minutes gives decision makers a range of precautionary options for protecting food and agriculture. At the same time, it computes what additional data will be needed to inform decisions that will keep the population safe. It combines land use maps and crop calendars with sampling protocols for each type of crop and vegetation in potentially affected areas. And by using pre-established sampling grids, instantly creates detailed assignments to guide sample collection teams in the areas. The geolocation of its mobile app even registers sample positions and adjusts the grid if they are taken off position. And at the same time, sample collectors provide additional information directly from the field via their mobile. The samples are then analyzed in pre-selected laboratories that are also linked to DSS for NAFA. And the results of each sample are recorded directly into the system. DSS for NAFA now contains all the information it needs to generate visuals, easily comprehensible maps of the data superimposed over geographic and land use maps. Using innovative computer algorithms and geovisualization platforms, the information is shown without overcrowding the map, even ranking according to significance. Decision makers can even generate interactive queries for example, about the rate of contamination in space and time. The continuously evolving situation is visible at a glance on tablets or screens and at scales from field level to national and international level. And with all of this, it requires minimal training to use it effectively. And while decision makers use this information to formulate up-to-the-minute guidance with regard to agricultural production or food consumption restrictions based on national regulations, political specificities and actual data, DSS for NAFA is already providing support on subsequent sampling assignments and continues the data acquisition process so that authorities are always presented with the latest and most up-to-date decision support. Imagine DSF for NAFA doesn't exist. Imagine it does.